Welcome back to Black Sky's Reviews. On this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Joy Toy Corvus Belly Infinity Marauders Ranger Unit number four. We have looked at Rangers one through three, and here we go. We're going to go dark and silent, like I said in Unit 3's video. These are 19 scale action figures. If you are looking for some modern style figures, these are really definitely cure your appetite so these are about uh, 10.6 uh, centimeters and they're about 4.1 inches tall so you're more of your modern style 180 scale figures not as your you know 3.75 now they are more like your four inches give or take whatever so here's the packaging and come in looking awesome this is the sniper we're going to call him the sniper he looks fantastic loving the box hot work in this video we're going to take a look at the art the comparison of the boxes from all four figures the comparison of the figures we're going to review this guy and check him out so let's do this there's the top of the box bottom of the box we have the side of the box you want to pause to read that you can there's the other side of the box these are recommended for adult collectors at least 15 years and older and here's the back of the packaging, some product images, uh, front to back, close up, and all the gear that comes off the figure and his accessories. And here is a solid clamshell, if you're interested. Okay, here's a comparison of the boxes. This is unit one versus unit four. Looking great. Here's unit two and unit four. And here's unit three, our maniac with unit four box. Looks fantastic. And here he is, outside the packaging, ready to do some stocking. Looking fantastic. As you can see, these guys are units fit for each other. They look just like each other, except for some very fine differences. Look fantastic. Let's check a look at that head sculpt. He has his night vision goggles on. The red lenses. These are sculpted onto his face. Show out the box here. Looking good. Head goes up and down, side to side. He's on a ball joint. You can get 360. If you got to take off this uh, heavy armor plate carrier, you can get it if you want it. Just know you're just there. I'm not going to do that because I'll let that be something you guys can discover for yourself. I'm going to have no interest in taking it off because uh, they look fantastic with it. And they're going to be my heavy unit for my figures. Loving this stuff on the side. A gunmetal type of. Uh, Rel, maybe what's very unique about these guys I love is these gunmetal steel shields um, armor that he was wearing on his shoulders they're not just wrapped around like I said they are just basically there hanging off I bet you for some ricocheted from oncoming fire we've discussed nice crate carrier some silver uh, studs throughout we have a nice pouch paint done i love the green that they use it breaks up this brown and they have this gun mount he, he looks amazing on the pouches they went all out green brown belt and this silver buckle very nice on the arms we do have these removable armor here nice weathering some stuff of stu studs we do have the gauntlets which are Kind of twist it around and there they are you can remove that and there's a small band here around his wrist you can move that also if you like and that's on both arms the only difference is you do get this insignia here with the uh, weathering looks fantastic now what's really great about these figures straight out the box no heating you can use these figures george has nailed it in my opinion 100 percent on these figures they are incredible and ready to rock and roll outside of the packaging without any uh, heating or whatever you do to your figures look at the green here on the side rolls on to the back the brown the silver and the green really pops amazing pouches here we have what's unique about these we have the normal up straight pouches we have the side pouches with the same kind of paint deco with the straps brown and silver buckles these look incredible so very nice and i love the back of this i mean that's the back of the figure in my opinion the back looks it has tons of paint versus the front and they really went all out on these in my opinion here on his thigh uh, he has another green pouch very nice attached to his uh 
um, band here done in brown. On this thigh pad, we have a pistol case with a pistol that's removable. Very, very cool. I love these uh, knee pads and also the elbow pads match the style. It's your gun metal with that dog bone kind of uh, look. And you get these incredible, it make, makes you think they're like upside down, but they're not really upside down. I mean, they need, you need something with that. You can do some damage there. Very, very cool. It has a nice sleeve on this leg with a removable knife, which we'll take a look at. This is pretty cool. Out the packaging, you do have accessories already on the character, pretty much except for his weapons. So we took a look at the articulation of his head. Let's take a look at his arms. They do rotate 360. Now the placement of his armor is going to hinder the ability to raise up. Remove the stuff, you're gonna get a better range. Just be aware of that. Or if you more do, that you slide these down to the center, the higher you're gonna get that arm. Double joint elbow, 360 at the elbow, very nice. Hands are the in and out, the ups and downs, and in all 360, and anywhere in between that you need. You can see that little piece right there that wants to come off. Pretty nice. There's chest articulation again, but it's hindered. You can't see in behind this plate carrier. He does go back and forth at the waist, 360 at the waist here, also, all the way around. Very, very nice. Um, splits. Oh, this guy is incredible. Look at this articulation for all this armor and all this gear. Probably can get a little bit more, but I don't want to force my fingers. I don't have the reason to do this, so it's not worth risking the breakage. Um, very nice. Sitting is a little, oh, he does not too bad. A little of the uh, leaning back pose, but if you have a 116 scale vehicle, you can uh, get him in. So, I just gave you those top secret things. So if you like these figures that I got on the four inch little bulkier figures, the secret to your vehicles for these guys is going up a scale, which is 160. If you're 118 scale figures, you're not traditional 118 scale. So you need a 116 scale vehicle. So look for those, do some custom work, and you can put some pretty cool vehicles in your George Way figures. Die cut here at the thighs. Very nice, 360, double jointed knees. We get once you start removing this stuff, you get a deeper bend, but I'm not gonna force it. You see it's there. But that's the point. Um the feet do pivot down, up, side to side. Then we have the tail articulation. That is pretty awesome. Now the pistol cases are on point too. One of the notorious things about a joy toy is history. The history where they have they're like demons where their pistol cases they never seem to get that right but i'm telling you what boys they nailed it on these guys and look at that and the pistols are fantastic because they look like they're modern futuristic touch very 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 nice like how he holds that trigger finger you see how easy i put that in the tolerances on these guys are pretty good really good not perfect but they're really good and they're super playable look at the bend just on that right there alone and i even it's no effort i even really try to do that so if you you know if you play with these guys you can get some pretty incredible poses it's the hands looks good um so yeah so that holds that really so you can see that because this came out of packaging um you need to reposition your armor and your thigh pads because they're just put on in put into the box and uh, they're in different positions when you take them out the thing i would recommend maybe maybe we shouldn't have to maybe heat up the thigh pads if you're gonna and if it's really tight so you don't you don't want to damage anything but i just smooth it with any issue so if that went up a little bit yeah that looks pretty good there one is like he has a nice sleeve and it stays in also these are nice knives looks like it's the same from all four black handle love the sculpt of that blade looks pretty sick um i usually stick them in normal we're going to go a little different this time just because you've seen it before thank you it's gone all out of course if we're going to go 
hand to hand. I'm probably going to turn it on the outside like this. And he's got his pistol ready to rock and roll all day long. So if he gets crept up on when he's in a sniper position, he has his small arms to defend himself in a quick one on one, two on one scenario to get back to his stalking. That looks pretty incredible. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. All right, so we take that out of his hand. I'm trying to be very careful because I'm going to pop his wrist off because uh, this is on a ball joint. And I'll show you how these go in. Really nice cases, too. Nice and closed. Nothing in the bottom. bottom nothing protruding out the bottom. I like this. I hate when I come through the bottom. It just looks so cheap. These are solid cases. That snug. That's never coming out. You have to worry about these boys falling over and then you uh, losing your weapons. Uh, even the knife has a great tolerance. So, you're going to, of course, you got to put your blade towards the back, your business in, give that a little push in, and that sucker's not coming out either. Nice. On incredible. I only hope we get some more modern armed force figures with this kind of attention to detail. These figures are absolutely stunning. And I am totally, totally recommending these things without a shadow of a doubt. Alright, so let's get the boring stuff out of the way. It's, it's padded black gloves uh, with the uh, silver knuckle. Um, there's three extra hands. They're so small. Most impossible to hold on to. So you get this more of a trigger finger one. I like the open hand one. You can either hand somebody something or slop to taste out of somebody's mouth. Here we got the uh, more of a deeper grasp. Pretty cool. And you get a pair of binoculars. I uh, like unit three, I believe. So that's really cool. And as you can see, they're very, very small. Lots of silver and uh, black paint on these guys. Uh, one side of the lenses are black and one side is silver. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, last but not least, his main weapon. Here we go. This is pretty sweet. As you can see here, he's, it's a black futuristic type of sniper rifle with a very large kind of science are looking piece on the front silver clip large clip so it'd be like a 50 caliber um if you had to guess a scope decent these weapons ain't no joke they're solid there's no warping you see how straight these things are out the packaging you ain't gotta worry about this thing breaking either not too hard or to become brittle they are perfect very very nice let's see if we can get this in his hand let's see what we got the thing is i don't think we're going to be able to get a down this site look because of the overall armor you might be able to get a better opportunity to do that if you remove his gear you want that pretty cool and there he is just straight up very little effort. The barrel is not drilled on these guys, but that's just nitpicking. You see that even his we their weapons match with each other in deco and um, quality at least, as well as the gear. You're definitely going to have to take that gear off if you want it down the site look. But there he is, looking great. All right, so there he is. So let's get do some comparison. Let's finally get these boys together and see what they look like here on Blast Guys Reviews. All right, so here comes his brother in arms, number three, Mr. Noisemaker. Ooh, yeah. So here comes our Salter. Looking very nice. And there's our Breacher. That's what I'm calling them at least because they really don't have any names. So Breacher, 
Salter, heavy weapons, sniper. There's your unit, looking fantastic. Great looking armor, great looking head sculpts. A lot of unit fit there. Weapons look great together. Of course, you can mix and mash them if you want, but they look beautiful. Hope you guys like these as much as I do. Highly recommend them. Looking about 30 to 40 bucks to tell me to get them at. I got mine from China, so they're like 30 bucks. Well, obviously, if you're getting from the U.S., you're going to pay between 30 and 40 bucks on an average. Say 35 bucks. Um, these are really cool. Worth the money, especially if you're into military figures. You're going to love these, especially the quality. The joints are off the, off the chain for Joy Toy. No issues there. The weapons are solid plastic. Ain't no warpage. Ain't no Hasbro. You know, uh, spider web plastic. We got the best plastic right there. They nailed the formula of whatever it is they're using it. Let's hope they continue. Very cool. Let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like these? Are you picking them up? Do you like the video? Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support the channel. Super appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in our next review.